Depends on how you want to want to imagine how they create ma- a- animated armor. I guess. I think it could be sassy. I mean, like carpet from uh, like uh, Aladdin or Disney's Aladdin. Like I think it was sassy as hell. And then, I don't know. It wasn't really sassy. No, not really. Because I mean, if we look look through the book, okay. So you stopped on animated armor because you're going through like the, um, like the disjointed, like like alphabetical like version in. Uh, the like in D and D Beyond, but animated a- armor is under the subtitle of animated object in the actual monster manual. Uh, <laughs> Yes, though. I don't know. I, I think it, that is a, a, an interesting thing on those things that you can do, but uh, don't really tickle your artistic wonder. So I feel the same about landscapes. Like I can do them. I've done a bunch of them. Like, but definitely not where I'm like excited in doing things. Which is why, like, I think uh, last mermaid, maybe the mermaid before that, like. I found already nice photos of like water landscapes and then I drew mermaid into them. <laughs> so they look like they matched. It was so much easier. What I think I'm gonna try to do today is that I didn't, I don't know, I was thinking about animated armor and thinking about how like they're very traditionally always plate mail, which is really frustrating frustrating because you fight a plate mail and you're like fuck that sucked all right can i use it and they're like nope you destroyed it so bad that you can't use it I'm like ah that was like thousands of gold why uh, but it started me thinking like there'd probably be a much more lucrative practice to animate other things or other kinds of armors so i tried to think of like all right uh i'm going to I'm gonna try to make other other armor. Um, so I rolled up some stuff, and <laughs> I was like thinking of like the culture, the like, uh, wait, and then what kind of material will be made of, what kind of armor, and I don't know. It's weird not finding the right sort of like things to to do to to randomize what you want. Especially for D and D, but stuff that I ended up with was like tabaxi, barbarian, weird animal art, like pelts, and then came up like demon wolf. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> using several different sites. So we're gonna find out what I can do with that. Of uh, possibly like a hide armor that was made by tabaxis, but using demon wolf fur. I don't know. They're very vague at what co- uh, constitutes animated objects as opposed to like magical objects. I guess like a general sense of sentience. Uh, storytelling. I, it's really. How they do. Yeah. Which, I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of weird that they, they don't blur that line very often. Like, and I guess it could get kind of frustrating, but, like, whatever. Uh, given that, like, if they did, like, the same as necromancer rules of, like, you can have this many undead followers. Like, you can have this many, like, animated armors. Like, it seems like it would be a decent decent one-to-one kind of ratio of like I can channel this many and then when I stop channeling they just kind of 
fall inert or maybe they're still alive. I don't know. It's kind of weird that I wear it now, but it just sits there, not listening. And there's definitely a sentient, um, sentient shield is like the one that's obvious. But then there's like, I don't know, the weird things of like shield guardian. And then there's like, I don't know, there's a couple of like stone artifact type things that are like animals that you can then make them into the animal and then tell them to be not an animal. So perfect examples. It's hard coming up with this one. I'm trying to think of, I don't know. It's sad because I generally like to, uh, at least when I'm working on a computer, I like working on a horizontal format um, just because then it gives me more real estate on my computer screen to work. But right now, um, having difficulty working in such like small constraints. What are you making? I don't see that on your side. don't believe there is which i think would be cool like i guess there's that like and you've looked into that more than i did um but there is a spell for like how to animate objects so maybe that would be answered there So I was like, um, reading, or uh, I think it was like the one, the creator, or one of the main like content uh, or creative side creators. That sounds stupid. <laughs> of uh, the Eberron uh, of Eberron, and they were explaining this concept of like Eberron is a place that has tons of magic, um, that everyone does magic, and it's this very it's very common that like going to get your clothes cleaned is just a person that specializes is in like the, the cleaning aspect of the press the digitations like spell um and that like almost everything is done by magic but like call uh, like he was saying that it kind of goes back to this concept of like that was that was in 3.5 or it was last used in 3.5 uh like a Players, not um, player classes are one specific thing, and they, it's not that they can't be the same classes as the NPCs. You can; they're just different concepts. And so, like a player spellcaster is like a wizard, uh, and they focus on oftentimes like battle kind of spells and spells that you can cast quickly. <laughs> but a NPC like caster um is i think it was like an ex or an adept maybe it was adept but it was like this idea that like they cast less spells but that's because they take years learning how to do it the right way <laughs> so like where they could make an animated armor that stays alive it takes years for them learning the intricacies of how that works whereas like the the common wizard that you play that that players get to play are that 80 like D child that's like what I got it there you go look it works it dances around cool look it stab that thing all right awesome and then it like there it goes it stops but you know it does the thing I know how to do the spell <laughs> I like but like you know what I mean so like every other wizard is just like uh like I, I guess like the player character version of every class ever they're all like 
Ah, uh, it's the dropout. Yeah, 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 sure. You have street smarts. Cool. You can't even have your mat animated armor stay for the whole year. What? <laughs> it sounds like it should be a Paragon version of a bard or something like that. Where it's like, you just collect all the stories, so many stories, that you're just a walking thing of experience. <laughs> you know everything. You've done everything, theoretically. Theory craft for you. So there was this, uh, um, another site that I use for the campaigns that I, I like to run called a uh, Donjon, uh, yeah, Donjon, yeah, uh, dot fin. Uh, it's a really cool site that has tons of D and D things, and lots of lots of randomizers that were not helpful for me at all in trying to figure out what the fuck am I going to draw today. But in general, I like what they have. Uh, but a random item that comes up and like random strength they have like a, a section of just like random strange magic uh magic items is they called it like the assassin's gauntlet like <laughs> what it is a gauntlet that you wear and that once per day like or when you activate it the gauntlet cuts off your hand and takes your hand with it but then animates itself and like can go and do things <laughs> you can put it back i don't know how but it, it is. It was like a, a weird sort of like, hmm. I guess. Uh, yeah, I like it, uh, or I like the idea of it. But it is like a weird like. I don't know how you're gonna abuse this, players. I can't wait to see. Yeah, yeah, I was vague on that. I'd let them put it back. I just want to say that you always have this like strange scar that takes a long time to heal, and it hurts every time that you do it. Yeah. You think you get used to it, but no, not really. I don't know if it does, but an anti-magic field does. So I would count it. See, I think there again is that weird, that weird bit of discussion of what is what is it that makes this? Is it that there's like a soul bound to it? Is it that, like, energy, just in its own sense, is doing this? That, like, uh, latent thought um, and will of the creator is what makes this a thing? I think, I don't know, I would like, and uh, currently in the works of, like, trying to make another system and stuff, uh, and, uh, like, thinking of a system that, like, allows for more, 
for different ways of animated armors to be made. Like a I was like I think the Full Metal Alchemist one is interesting where it is it is pretty much a poltergeist. It is something that's bound to the armor itself that is sentient in its own right. But I mean, I don't know how many players have tried to talk to animated armor. <laughs> And maybe they're just their animator kind of sucked and just doesn't do a good job of making an a ability for them to or a way for them to be able to like to talk or to retain their selfness. Yeah, I mean, I did I did a couple pages, um, not very far, which is fun. Like I don't know, it's an interesting. It goes by in that D and D standard of things. Like sometimes it takes like sessions to get through just like a couple of hours in like the game world time. Uh, and so like I feel like I did like pages and pages and pages just on like day one. And then there's like a little bit, like maybe I've gotten to like uh, day two or three, but that's because those are pages of like, you just walked today. Then like I tried to animate, or not animate it, but to um, illustrate it so that it is less like, um, okay. uh, with like landscapes and things that we would appreciate if it was like a real journal of like, I did stuff today, Journal. We saw some lizards. Lizards are cool. But since uh, work has been more demanding of my time, I have not touched it too much. Um, partially because I really enjoy working on it, and it's very nice. That's part of why I like doing this like stream with you every once in a while is that it does force me to sit and draw. And sitting and drawing is, was like a lot of what my what I did when I was younger. I like doing it, but it is like, it is one of those things that it, like, I know myself um, enough to know that, that it will, that if I get too into it, I'll just do it. and. I don't know, one hour becomes three hours, three hours becomes not ready for work. I didn't know how many wolves this armor needed to have be for someone to have made. Yeah, have some energy field kind of things going out. I think I don't know. I like this idea, uh, like of thinking that maybe, um, maybe in the future when I create animated armor things that I got to be more specific about what kind of animated armor, where is it, where is it from, like, that I could have different kinds of animated armor instead of just using the canon stock of, like, um, I'll call it, that it is just, like, plate mail and angry. Plate mail and angry. I guess there's my animated armor. That's what I created.
that has nothing to do with tabaxis at all. Besides that, I put like claws extenders on the on the fisticuff parts. But animated barbarian armor that was made out of some sort of wolf thing. I think it needed more horns. I guess it comes down to how how you make them, but I don't know. Given given having servant things that I can't smell, so undead don't bug me. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like armor. I think armor is very pretty. It would be interesting to have different kinds of armor from different cultures and to put them together. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't. I think I get tired of the lumbering. So I would have lots of like uh, floaty armors or like armors that actually had like, uh, that were light armor so that they weren't so heavy. Cause I think it'd be interesting to have more. Like, yeah, I don't like, I don't know. I think I was thinking like, uh, while a um, plate mail does bludgeoning damage, like if you had like cloth armor or other things like that, that's like a strangling thing. Like that could have like dulcing like stretchy arms that like strangle people. <laughs> Depending. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. I don't know if I like, like, I, I kind of like armor. I mean, it'd be a lot more helpful than animated swords, I gotta tell you. Um, then they could actually do things for me, but I'm not certain that I'm, like, in love with these as, like, pets as much. At least they'd be maybe a little less frustrated than just stealing things from other realms. But maybe I'm stealing things from other realms and putting in here, so lots of weird, weird possibilities. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think animated armor would really go for. It'd be weird having an animated closet that then spews animated armor. I guess a mimic with a animated armor. That'd be hard to keep together. It'd be fun for a very first fight when you're like your your group can only take one animated armor, and they explain every attack that takes the piece off, and then how it stitches it back together in like a weird like. Well, yeah, I guess. Now it's coming at you as just a shin bone and a helmet. Mm. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know. I didn't really like start to like draw shadows or anything, but I kind of thought that it like, it like tippy toes on those. 